Every year in the UK, we consume over 13 billion eggs, and it takes around 41.5 million egg-laying hens to produce them. But what happens to the male chicks? Male chicks are currently in the UK a byproduct of large scale farming. Unfortunately, the male chicks will never grow on to lay eggs, and also their body conformation is very different from that of a chicken breed, and they wouldn't grow as fast. So, unfortunately, they are not viable. Within 24 hours, the male chick will be euthanized. Chickens are either farmed for their meat or their eggs. Meat chickens, or broilers, are specific breeds that are grown solely for their meat, and their eggs are not sold in shops. Both male and female broilers are edible. Egg-laying chickens are a completely different breed, and of course, only the females can lay eggs. As males can neither lay eggs or produce commercially viable meat, they are humanely killed shortly after hatching. Around half of all chicks are born male. Under the RSPCA standards, the male chick is euthanized using a gas mixture. You can use maceration, although that's not widely used in the UK. It's purely there in our standards to be used as a backup if the other system failed. And this isn't just in the UK, this is all over where eggs are produced on a large scale basis. What exactly is maceration? Maceration is a machine with rapidly rotating blades that the chicks go into. If it's done properly, it's actually a very quick way of killing the birds. What happens to all of those male chicks once they're euthanized? So those chicks aren't wasted. They actually go to places like birds of prey centers or places that have captive wild animals to be used as a protein for them. And if they didn't go there, they would have to look at sourcing that protein to feed them from somewhere else. And that may be somewhere that isn't regulated and we would have no control over. Do you think that at any point in the future, we won't be in this situation where all male chicks are pollutionized? There is research currently being looked at that will show us the sex of the chick inside the egg. I guess, well, we can't get there quick enough, hey? It's important to understand that eating eggs comes with its own set of complex ethical issues. That's why higher welfare labels are so crucial to ensure the compassionate treatment of animals from the very start to the very end of their lives. For more information and to see the other videos in this series, visit rspcaassured.org.uk.